you say, late afternoon meeting with the PM on schools. My God, this is complicated. Models will not provide the answer. PM is clearly bamboozled. Page 53, please. PM asking whether we've overdone it on the lethality of this disease. He swings between optimism and pessimism, and then this. PM still confused on different types of test. He holds it in his head for a session, and then it goes. Um, page 93, please. Watching PM get his head round stats is awful. He finds relative and absolute risk almost impossible to understand. Page 124. PM struggled with whole concept of doubling times, just couldn't get it. And then just two more, please. Page 167. Uh, this is from later in the year, September. Claire Gardner going through the PM graph, sorry, talked PM through the graphs. It's difficult. He asks questions like, which line is the dark red one? Is he colorblind? Then, so you think positivity has gone up overnight? Oh, oh, then, oh God, bloody hell. But it's all the same stuff he was shown six hours ago. And then finally, 389, this is now going forward to 2021. PM dashboard, is that a reference to a meeting, dashboard meeting? Yes. Taken through the graphs, real struggle to get him to understand them. Um, so the, the question then, Sir Patrick, is those, that, that, those, those paragraphs of your statement that we looked at, yes, you talk about sometimes needing to repeat things and needing to explain things in detail. Help us and tell us if this, this is an example of passages that you, that you um, no longer want to support. But the message that we get from these repeated entries appears to describe something, at least as far as the Prime Minister is concerned, more serious, uh, a repeated failure to understand graphs, uh, scientific concepts, and so on, forgetting things that he'd been, had been explained to him only a few hours earlier repeatedly. Was there a more serious problem with him than that which you describe in the witness statement? Well, I, I think I'm right in saying that the Prime Minister at the time gave up science when he was 15. And I think he'd be the first to admit it wasn't his forte, and that he did struggle with some of the concepts and we did need to repeat them often. I would also say that a meeting that sticks in my mind was with fellow science advisors from across Europe when one of them, and I won't say which country, uh, declared that the leader of that country had enormous problems with exponential curves and the entire phone call burst into laughter because it was true in every country. So I do not think that there was necessarily a unique inability to grasp some of these concepts with the Prime Minister at the time, but it was hard work sometimes to try and make sure that he had understood what a particular graph or piece of data was saying. Um, and I'd learned from a number of uh, meetings, including around climate, where there were certain things that would catch his eye and would work for him and other things that wouldn't work for him. So there were ways of presenting the data that allowed him to get better access than others. It, Mr Johnson, it hardly needs saying, was the man who was making decisions that had incredibly broad impacts on the whole country. A and it was critical, was it not, that he did understand the advice that he was being given? Yes. We've been talking so far about the need to repeat advice sometimes or to, as you say, use particular techniques or tags to help him understand matters. Um, was it ever the case that you had the impression that despite repeating things or despite explaining things in a particular way, he, he actually had completely misunderstood some of the advice that you'd given him? It's possible, but um, I think... Certainly when I left a meeting, I would, be con I would usually be persuaded that we had got him to understand what it was we were trying to say. But as one of the extracts showed that you, 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 you put up there, that six hours later he might not have remembered what was, what was in that presentation. So I can't be sure that he 
kept it in his mind all the time as he was going into whatever the subsequent meetings were that, that, that designed policy. I would also say that I think, and I, I don't know, you obviously have to ask him, but I think he does have a technique of almost deliberately going to sort of a misunderstanding just to check that that um, somebody isn't in a different position. And that was something he would use from time to time. But I think there was a problem in, 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 in scientific understanding, and it's not unusual amongst leaders in, in Western democracies. 